All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Enematica. I hope everyone is doing great today. I know that I am, as always. We are jumping right back on into things today. And I did a little bit of work off camera. So um, I'm trying to feel out how we're going to really do this series. I've talked on it a little bit before, but I really want to focus on a lot of builds. Um, but unfortunately, when I do building, I take a lot of time tinkering and refining and things like that. So for a time lapse, it really, it wouldn't always work exact. So I'm not 100% sure. So I did a little bit of work off camera. I had to get some resources together. You know, that stuff that really isn't like the most entertaining. So I'm going to run you through that. But we have a lot that we need to get done today. We are actually going to go out and do some exploration and grab some more resources because there is some more stuff we need to finish our build. And we're going to get a few useful tools up and going as well. So you might notice right off the bat, we got our glass in place here in our uh, cliffside lodge. Um, and I think it turned out great. So this is framed glass from Create. All you got to do with this to get it up and going is get some glass up and going in a furnace. I actually had some copper going in there. And then you take it over to your stone cutter, just throw it in here and you can convert it over to different types. This one is really nice because it frames the outside and doesn't have like the individual blocks showing like how normal Minecraft glass will do. So I think it looks awesome. The one thing, I don't know if you guys can catch it. Oh, Lordy Lord. Yeah, you keep walking. Um, but you see, there's clouds out there. There's clouds out there. There's no clouds. There's a weird glitch with it right now that uh, the clouds don't show through. I've experienced this with some other things as well um, in our last mod pack in all the mod six. But Tanya had a similar problem with particle effects and it getting rid of water in the background. If you looked through the particles, you wouldn't see any water behind it. So very strange situation here, but uh, I still like it. I still think it looks great and it gives you an amazing view of that valley down there. I'm really happy with the spot that we ultimately picked out for our beginner house and hopefully maybe our whole entire camp probably will just stay up here and then the other thing um yeah we did a decent amount of work here so i started building it out and getting it put in place with how i wanted to progress because obviously we're going to get into some machines we're going to get into different magic stuff like there's a lot of things that we need space so i started getting it all set up here uh, as you can see we've continued this slate brick all the way through i really like this purple color or not purple color blue color i know my colors right uh, but it's looking really nice we got some lanterns in here to keep the whole entire area lit up which is really nice and we're obviously continuing that pine log vibe now we got to be careful i don't know where that creeper went but we're gonna definitely want to keep an eye out for him um, and then coming down here, obviously, we have this whole entire way. I cut all the way through this side of the hill, and it kind of comes out on the opposite end over here, which is really nice. Uh, but then the other thing that I started working on is this. So this is going to be our overhang, like, smithing area, I think. Uh, for those of you who have played, like, let's say Skyrim before, or things like that, there were different locations within that game where it would be kind of an overhang over a cliff or a mountain of some kind, and they would have um like a a blacksmith there like a smeltery and and everything like that and i'm like that would be kind of cool to do so obviously it needs a little bit more work we need to get some more materials it's not fully finished out just yet um but yeah we come out here and like yeah just imagine you're out here working making a hammer smelting up some stuff uh, i think it's going to be really really cool and also leaving it open and airy just really lets you take in everything around you i think this is going to be super cool looking once it's all said and done um, but obviously again we need more materials i did go ahead and uh, i'll give you a little glimpse of the underneath as well i did build it out so it looks like it is supported it's kind of hard to see because i can't really fly right now but yeah it is uh supported out i actually might want to add an additional one on the, the end of there uh, but it just gives it that that aesthetic obviously it doesn't much matter it's minecraft gravity doesn't really apply to the blocks that you place down Obviously, it applies to your player, but I don't know. It's I think it's turning out really cool. I'm super happy with it, and I'm excited to get it more uh, complete so we could actually get some stuff placed down in here. Oh, I forgot. I missed a brick there. But anyway, you might be wondering, then, what are we doing today since I took five minutes to run through all of this mumbo jumbo and what I did off camera? Well, there's a couple miscellaneous things. So if you guys recall, in the last episode, we started getting into um, what was it called? Tetra. Uh, and I've been using that a decent amount. I've been getting iron pickaxes and things like that. It is really convenient because you don't use as much 
iron. So uh, we can make a stone pick and then all you got to use is two pieces of iron to convert that stone pick into an iron pick rather than using three right off the bat just to make a iron pick on its own. So great in the resource category, but there are um, there's something different I want to look into today. And I think I mentioned it in the last ap episode, which is a magnet. The one thing that I've been struggling with a lot is picking up items. Um, I'm so used to having some kind of magnet that would allow us to just grab our stuff. So let's take a peek and see what kind of options we have in this pack. It looks like we actually don't really have that much. Um, we have the Fluxo Magnet um, from Thermal Series, but I believe that actually takes power. Um, a lot of these things are upgrades for like pedestals and so on and so forth. So obviously we really can't get into that. Collects items and XP orbs in a range of 10 by 10 when activated. Activate by right clicking the air. That's actually nice, a lost trinket, but unfortunately, we, uh, we can't make that, which is a little bit of a bummer. I wonder if we don't have an option for a magnet right off the bat, um, which would be, again, kind of kind of a bummer. We have the ring of magnetization, but obviously you have to get into Batani to do that. Um, and then we have this one, but this does take redstone flux in order for it to, to run. And uh, as you can see there, once you run out of it, then you're out of it. Hmm. We also have the backpack upgrade for magnets, which would be really good. I did want to get a backpack up and going. Maybe we'll prioritize that. Let's go to um, let's go to backpacks. Actually, did I bookmark it? I think something updated because my bookmarks were gone. I did actually have uh, things bookmarked. Um, let's go into our quests here. I believe we had it under here for storage, right? Yep. So sophisticated backpack. We kind of clicked. We checked the box on it. Uh, but we want to get an iron one going and we need a normal one as well. So let's do that because I realized now that there is that that upgrade on there. Um, one other thing actually I do want to do before we do anything else. It reminded me with that creeper is something that not everybody knows, which is claiming your chunks. Um, yes, you can claim your chunks. Basically, what this will allow you to do is uh, it prevents destruction of what you have claimed which is really good especially if you're putting a lot of time and effort into a build you don't want creepers coming on in and destroying things um, or whatever it may be so all you got to do is pull it up like we did here and you just left click and it will claim all the chunks now the other thing you can do is you can actually chunk load if you want to so you just hold shift and you left click and it'll actually chunk load for you which is really nice so i'm going to keep our little three by three, all, all of our nine chunks here, chunk loaded as well. You can also see in the lower left-hand corner. Ooh, actually, that's very, very interesting. I did not know that. Um, you can claim 500 chunks, which is really nice, but you can only force load 10 chunks. Um, I believe in all the mod six, you could, you could force load like 25, I believe. So a little bit of a downgrade there, unfortunately. But let's see what we got. We have five leather. I don't know if that's going to be enough for what we want to make. Because first, we have to start off with a normal backpack. Ah, and that was the other thing we need is we need some string. We do have two pieces of string. So it's looking like we're going to have to do a little bit of hunting. We're going to have to find some string. We're going to have to find some um, cows and get some leather, get some string, and um, kind of come on back and try to get that backpack up and going so we can go out and get some more resources that we need. So let me do that. I'll bring you guys on back once we are ready to head out. All right, guys. So I ended up going out and actually collecting a bunch of the slate that I was actually looking to go and get. Um, but we're still going to progress because I was able to get our leather and everything that we needed along those lines. I believe we have enough wood to get a chest up and going too. Um, if we don't, that's going to be kind of kind of funny that we don't have enough wood yeah i don't know if we have enough wood to to get us up and going of course why would we have what we need i come on back and i'm like ready to go and then we don't have what we need all right we're gonna chop this bad boy down that's fine um i'm gonna place that back down there and let it grow back up and we'll place this bad boy up here i think that's fine that is honestly one of the harder things that we're running into is we are using a lot of wood because we use these stripped pine logs 
and these are a one-to-one -one ratio with normal logs so um, ultimately we kind of lose out a little bit on them so all right let's get our chest going here just like so and then we should be able to get our backpack up and going bada bing bada boom we have our backpack now that's not going to complete the quest because we have to make an iron one so let's grab eight iron ingots here we're going to take off that and just do it like so perfect now we have it up and going now let's see left shift um let's see slot back so it's i think we can put this in our backpack just like on our back slot just like so and then if we actually look at us we have a backpack on that's actually kind of cool that's really cool now i think yep if we hit b by default b on your keypad is going to uh, bring up your backpack you have some room for upgrades over there uh, but we can't forget that we completed the quest so let's go in here we are going to get some farmer's delight which is awesome it's just some random food for us which is actually going to be probably the next thing here that I, I really actually want to do is actually get some food production up and going um, because we have kind of gone through a lot of our food thus far. So I think we need to, to, to get into that. Now, there's a gold and a diamond backpack upgrade. We're not going to really worry about it right now, uh, but there are these pickup upgrades, which are pretty cool. Um, now, we do need these bases, which I don't know if I have enough leather for. That's kind of going to be the problem here. We do actually have a decent amount of leather. So let's go to sophisticated backpacks. So sophisticated. Wow, there's actually a lot that you can do. And you can get advanced upgrades of it as well. Ooh. All right, so we want... Um, I don't know if we want the pickup one. I think the magnet would be cool. What else do we have? Compacting item. Compacts items into their compressed variants only two by two recipes. Ooh, it's interesting. Ooh, a feeding upgrade feeds the player with food from it. What? Oh, wow. We need a lot for that, though. Um, even for this one, the pick one and pick up one, we need a sticky piston, which we don't have slime for yet. I don't believe um, the magnet one. We need ender pearls. Yikes. OK, we might not be able to. Restocks the backpack. That's actually really nice. Deposits item from. Ooh, that one would be really nice. Now, that one, we don't necessarily need a. Um. We don't need uh, slime for. We are going to need one of those. We're going to need more string, though. Eh, I don't think we have enough of what we need, unfortunately. All right. Well, we're going to have to hold off on that because really what we need, uh, if you guys haven't caught on, is we need some more string and we don't have enough string yet. A mob farm is definitely going to have to be in our future here shortly. But from there, I think I want to actually shift gears a little bit here because like I was saying, um, food. Food is going to be a big thing for us, and we really should have a good way of getting it right off the bat. And we don't. We don't right now, other than completing quests. Um, so what I am thinking is, why don't we get into the good old cooking for blockheads? And I'm going to make this part of this episode, obviously, so doing backpacks and cooking for blockheads, because cooking for blockheads, we've done many a times. I probably have like two, three different episodes around this mod here on the channel from different packs that we've utilized it in. So I'm not going to try to go too in depth in it. Now, I don't know, again, if we have everything we need, we might actually have to do some exploration, which is fine. We'll cut away. We'll go and get what we need. and We'll come back. Um, but let's see what, what we need here. It does look. Yeah, we do need terracotta. That is one thing that we're going to need a lot of. And I don't think we have any kind of clay of any sort. Yeah, we don't have any in here. Nothing in there. I got more of these squid ink pastes. But for some reason, they don't stack. OK, that doesn't make sense but that's fine i guess um this is our very very sad looking drawer of wood items we have our random stuff here nothing in there that'll really help us and nothing up there either ah all right so it does look like we are going to have to do some adventuring now i am curious before we head out two different things one if they put any progression for cooking for blockheads within the pack here thus far i'm not i haven't noticed it and these are dungeons natures artifacts lost trinkets the lost trinkets i've started actually figuring these ones out they're found through various actions digging planting murdering um normal everyday minecraft you know uh, had one pop up on your screen. Read more about it in JEI. New trinket may be equipped by pressing R to open the menu. 
So, Will, a uh, long-time follower of the channel, had mentioned it on our first episode around these trinkets. So, let's go into R here. Um, it does look like we have uh, to unlock the levels to do it. Or, oh, we can unlock more levels. Okay, so we've already unlocked two. We've gotten Miner's Pick, which improves our speed, and then Slingshot, which deals a more knockback when hitting enemies. We're going to put Miner's Pick on there, but once we get to 20... Oh! Okay, oh, we had 20. So I used 20, as you saw down there, and we unlocked another one. We'll put the slingshot on there as well. But you can unlock more and more trinkets as you go and just do normal stuff. And we've already gotten two of them. As you see here, we got the miner's pick and then the slingshot one. Honestly, it was just from mining and killing like a couple mobs. That's all it was. <laughs> so uh, what was I going to do next, though? Oh, I was checking to see if cooking for blockheads had anything in here, which is very strange that it wouldn't you know you would think that they would kind of guide you in that direction of cooking for blockheads in a quest uh, because food is going to be a big thing create is coming soon guys don't you worry it is going to be right around the corner we do need to get some resources going for that though uh, i've been really itching to do it because there's certain there's something very specific that i want to try out in it and um i don't know if it's i don't know if it shows in here i'm not seeing anything for cooking for blockheads, but actually let's go into create real quick. Sidetrack. So in create, there's something that they added in that I thought would be extremely cool to test out um, in this world. Here it is right here, the gantry carriage. And we can hold W to ponder, which I love this addition to create. So pretty much, you can have it mount to a thing and have it move to the side, which is pretty cool. But I was kind of curious if we could do it at like a stair step. I don't know if it's possible to do it at a stair step. That would be really cool. We're trying to figure out how we could move something coming up the side of the hill that'd be really cool we're gonna have to figure it out but anyway let's sleep through the night here i think un ultimately we're gonna have to go out and do some uh adventuring once again because what we really need to get is some terracotta now i don't believe we've come across a biome that has terracotta in it so we're gonna again probably just do some some looking around and seeing if we could find one because if we could find one that has terracotta that would make it a lot easier or if it had clay that would be really nice as well one last thing before we depart here, I want to see if there's like a hang glider or some kind of a movement uh, mechanism that we could utilize. We can get an umbrella, but you have to find it. Okay. And there's a paraglider from the paraglider mod, um, but you do need, well, actually, we might have what we need. Yeah, just sticks and that. Okay, I think we actually might have what we need. We just need some sticks, which we got plenty of sticks hanging out in here. Let's try this out. I think we can get this going. There we go. So what, how do we use this? Oh, okay, I see, which would be awesome because then what we can do Oh, I hope we don't take fall damage from this. Maybe we should test it on a small scale. Nope, frick it, we're going. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. And then if we go into F5. <laughs> guys, this is awesome. Okay. Oh, this makes it so much easier. Then what we could do is just jump right off of our balcony there, off of our overhang, and use our paraglider here to get a pretty decent distance, I would say. Like, it's actually getting us pretty far out into the world here. Um, now, if we could go a little bit quicker, yeah, that would always be the the, the benefit to it. But um, for what it is this early on, I think it's a great add. So, are these bones? Yeah, oh wow, I didn't know you could find bones out in the world. Uh, just, what are these used for? You can actually turn them into normal bones then. Wow, okay, that's good to know, I didn't know that. Um, obviously we've come across like these where you can get like rocks and things like that. Ooh, strawberry bushes would be really nice to bring back. I love me some strawberries. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys like strawberries? Strawberries is probably my favorite. I like blueberries too. Ras Ooh, raspberries. Okay, I think, uh, raspberries are really good. I could eat raspberries all day long. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys. Alright, we're gonna do some adventuring. We're gonna try to find some terracotta here because that's really what we need. 
What? Nature's aura. Ah, uh, we, we got something unlocked there for that. Ooh, blueberries. Sweet burrs. Okay, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna look for some terracotta. I'll bring it back if we find something. It's actually pretty funny. I was just talking about raspberries, and what do I find? Raspberry bushes. This is awesome. The simple farming mod is really great in this, too. We're gonna have to get into it. Probably looking at the time here we might have to dedicate a whole episode to food production and stuff like that but we're still on the hunt for terracotta so with that being said we'll be back all right guys as per usual i got distracted well first i did collect up a bunch of clay and gravel actually from the riverbed there was a ton a ton of clay down there um i don't think that tinkers is in here yeah it's not so I uh, don't obviously don't need to worry about uh, getting a smeltery up and going or anything like that. So we can utilize a lot of this clay uh, to get terracotta going for our cooking for blockhead setup. But I also found this. I don't know what it's from. Um, it's got prismarine and just uh, normal like. Oh, my gosh, this is going to be difficult. Um, normal uh, polished andesite on it, which is very strange. So. It's kind of like a parkour thing that we got to be doing here. Um, do I have just normal blocks? I do. So we could just utilize that. And uh, just kind of be smart as we go around. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we're not going to do the uh, the parkour thing. Because if we do, we'll probably die. This is a really cool tower, though. Okay. Um, we're getting close to the top. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not rocking it with getting around these corners here, so. Don't know why we're struggling so hard on that. Oh. <laughs> I guess I have something enabled where I can just auto go up um, ladders. Like, I just look up and it takes me up, which is very strange. Put that there. Okay. Put that there. Around we go. Okay, and here we go. To the top. Yeah, I don't even have to hold anything. I just look up and up we go. Up, up we go. Up, up, up. There we go. Oh, yes. Guys, it's a waystone. This is what we wanted. Well, I'm going to take this with me. That's perfect. I'm going to take that with me too. This prismarine is nice, but I just don't have the means to like really go through it just right now. So, wow. Look at this view up here. This is a really good view, but that waystone is going to be extremely, extremely important. If we can find another one, we could get it set up in our... Um, Oh, there's a chest there. Oh, I almost missed that chest. We could get it set up in the encampment over there. And uh, yeah, we would be good to go. What is that? A blank map, empty map, and an ender pearl. That's very, very nice. Okay. Um, and we do have our paraglider here. So let's just get on going on. And I think what we're going to do is just head back to the base. I think that makes the most sense right now is just heading back to the base. Nothing really additional that we need to keep an eye out for. Obviously, I would love to do some more exploration but uh, we can't always just spend all of our time doing that. But that's good to know. So now we know that those towers actually, I would assume all of those towers offer waystones. Um, whereas in all the mod six, you could just find waystones out in the world, which was cool. It was cool that you could find them out in the world. Um, but then obviously after a while, it made it relatively easy to do things. Um, but this is awesome because we could set this up at home at our base. And then if we do find one out in the world, we can easily just uh, activate it and get ourselves back. Is this a witch's hut here too? How did I not notice this? All right, let's take a peek here. It doesn't look like a witch is popping up on our map. Um, nothing in here other than a cauldron. Uh, not really worth taking, um, but that's kind of cool. I didn't know that that was, I didn't know that was there. So, um, but anyways, guys, we're going to head back to the base. I'll meet you guys back over there. All right, guys. So might be wondering what we are doing out here by the water. Um, is that bear fighting with a bee? I think so. Yeah, they're, they're fighting. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Um, so the one thing that I did encounter is um, up in our mountain base, there is no water. Yeah, there's no water at all. And on top of that, there's no water close by. If we go back and look at our base here, there is no body of water anywhere close other than going over to the river there. Now, would it have been a bit quicker to get over to there? Probably, but I figured I would come out this way. I actually did end up finding a village in here as well. And I also found some andesite, which is going to be extremely useful for when we get into the create mod. 
But um, yeah, there's no water around here. So I am picking up some um, buckets, obviously, as you can see here. And we're going to test this out real quick because I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, now, normally it would. Typically, you could put down two like so and make an infinite water source. And OK, yes, you can, which is perfect. So that will be exactly what we need. Now, the other thing I'm going to do since we're here is I need to get some concrete going. Um, and the easiest way to do that is to make the powder and then place it in water. And then it kind of just converts over into the concrete that you need. Now, this is for the flooring for cooking for blockheads, um, just so you guys are aware. Super easy to do, but we just didn't have water for it. So there we go. We have our concrete up and going. Um, and then we can utilize this to actually make our kitchen flooring. Um, which we don't really need that much of honestly one batch of concrete really should do you just fine um, but with that being said now we have to make the extremely long journey back to the base uh, but yeah as you can see here this whole mountainside let me get a little bit better view here this is all andesite and uh, you do need a good amount of andesite when you're getting into the create mod because you have to make andesite alloy i believe it is what it is um, so this is going to be extremely, extremely useful. I think the dynamic of this pack is going to be extremely interesting as we continue on down the line um, and, and just progress more and more. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting for sure. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to make my way back to the base and I'll bring you on back once we get there. All right, guys. So made it all the way back. I have realized, though, that we aren't going to be able to get to the main piece of cooking for blockheads up and going in this episode because i'm gonna have to go out and find even more stuff uh which is how it ultimately ends up being right in minecraft you get all the way back and then you realize oh i need something additional and i don't have it anywhere close by at least from my knowledge i don't have anywhere close by so what is it that we're missing we need a book we need a book so that we can get the cooking for blockheads uh book one up and going and then on top of that, we're also going to need some diamonds so that we could change that into a tier, um, what tier? Just to tier two, right? Or yeah, tier two. So then we could actually utilize that to make our cooking table. So we are going to need diamonds other than just getting a book for and getting, we need paper, which we need sugar cane for. And then with that book, we also then need diamonds. And then we can eventually make this. So it's going to maybe be down the line a little bit, but we could at the very least get some of the other aesthetics that we've been building towards up and going and put in place because uh, I feel like it'd be very useful. The other thing I completely forgot about considering our water situation is the sink. So the sink does act like a infinite water source from cooking for blockheads. So I'm actually happy that I grabbed some water and brought it back here. And now we can get the sink up and going, which will allow us to just again have a infinite source of water in case that little pond that i put up um kind of kicks it to the curb for some reason now the other thing we're going to want is probably some chests and what we could do is ultimately move a lot of our stuff over here so i've kind of marked out this little back wall here as a temporary location for our cooking for blockhead setup i think that is going to be uh the best place for the time being uh, I'm going to take a bunch of these holly logs. I picked these up out on our adventures and just get a bunch of chests going here because uh, really it's going to be super beneficial to have uh, a couple different chests here. So I'm going to get a countertop here um, and we're going to kind of start laying things out, obviously. So um, we're also going to have a fridge and a oven. So we're going to want to keep those in mind. I think the main cooking table is going to be here um, and then maybe we'll place this one here. And then we're going to need to get up and going at some of our other stuff. So there is the oven, um, which we just need a furnace for, which is not too shabby. But I believe we also need black stained glass, which is not too bad to actually get. We could totally do that. Um, we just need glass. So let's get um, some of the sand. I'm going to cook up just a teeny bit of glass here. We'll put that to the wayside and let that roll. Now, the other thing that we can get is a fridge, um, which we do need iron doors for. Um, so obviously a little bit of iron usage in this whole setup here and we can make it a double one just like that by making it two of those and then we'll put this in place now where do i want the fridge do i want it in the corner would that make the most sense probably would make the most sense to put it right there tucked in a corner rather than it being like in the middle 
So I am going to want then another kitchen countertop here. Just like so. And I could dye these a different color. I think for now these, uh, the color that is there currently are, which is the default terracotta color. I think that's perfectly fine as is. So, all right, we only needed three of these. Um, I do need some black dye. And the cool thing about getting black dye, um, since we don't have any squids around, what you can actually do is take blackberries and you can utilize this pestle and mortar from Batania and you can actually make up some black dye from the blackberries, which is really useful to have. It's a very, very useful um, addition in here. Now, how many did we need for this? What is it? Three? We only needed three. So we'll put that like so. Um, do we have to surround it with it? I thought it just showed right here. Oh, maybe it, oh, it has to be connected glass. If you use normal glass, you have to use all of it. You have to make all of it all the way around. Okay, that's a little bit of a bummer. Um, I didn't really want to have to do that because that leaves extra glass that we don't necessarily need. But hey, it is what it is. It's worthwhile. We'll get our oven going just like so and get this placed in. I think the oven would go right there. That makes the most sense. Um, and then we need, obviously, one additional end cap unit. And I guess what we could do is one of these. Um, the corner, though, doesn't do any storage. So maybe we won't do a corner. Um, we do need another chest here, though. One more chest, and then we will wrap up the episode. I actually make, I will make a couple here. Again, we've been using a lot of chests, so I think it makes the most sense to have a decent amount of them on hand. And then we are going to want the normal countertop, just like so. Now, did we need this much terracotta? Probably not. <laughs> Probably didn't. Um, the other thing we can do is actually get some higher ones going as well. Some upper cabinets, which are really cool. It's these ones right here. And there's also the hanging corner, which is cool. So the hanging kitchen cabinet, which is really cool. Um, let's see. Can we get all of these made? There we go. We'll make three of these bad boys. And let's see. I think having them like way up at the top would be pretty cool. Um, now, that one didn't place in the way that I wanted. So we'll just grab it and... Um, we should be able to place it. How are those ones placing differently? I'm very, very confused. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Oh, that's, that's going to bother me so very much. Oh, I didn't realize you could hit those. Okay, so there, there. And I don't know why that one doesn't like it. It just doesn't like being... There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think on that side is going to be the best because you go to reach and open it. I'm trying to think. Because you open a door. I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. Um, and obviously, we could get a couple more going along the top there. But this is our temporary setup, obviously. And then we need the middle one um, for our uh, actual cooking. Can't really do anything until we have that middle one put in place. But guys, with that being said, we're going to wrap up the episode there. A uh, longer episode than I anticipated, but there's so much stuff to do, so much more thing, so much more, so much more stuff coming down the pipeline that I'm excited for. Um, we got a lot more to build on here, a lot of stuff to get into, a lot of cool things that we are going to explore, and I could not be more excited for it. So if you guys are excited as well, let me know by leaving a like on this video, or better yet, leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking via the words. Um, if you are new here and you do want to follow along, definitely hit that subscribe button and bell notification. I'll let you know every single time a new episode is posted here on the channel. I do stream over on Twitch on Mondays and Fridays at about 4.30 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, however, that's not always the case. So if you do want to keep up to date on that, I recommend checking out the community Discord. Uh, a lot of cool people over there. And I also post every update over there. So if something does change, that is the best place to go and hear about it. Both of those links are in the description down below. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it so very much. I'll catch you on the next episode. Take it easy.